it's just, it's so dirty. It's such a dirty window. Anyway, good morning, I look a mess. Let's go downstairs. All right, here's the thing. I gotta, get, I gotta tell you how the cheesesteak went. Because I just sort of stopped recording last night. I didn't talk at all about how the cheesesteak was. And I'm afraid to do that while I'm still here because it was fine. It was fine. It was not mind blowing. And I know that people are going to tell me that I went to the wrong place. Because that's what happens. Josh went to Pat's and tweeted about it and everyone was like, no, you fool, you utter buffoon, you need to go to Gino's. So we went to Gino's. And it was fine. It was okay. I found the cheesesteak to be an underwhelming food. Anyway, I'm sorry, Philadelphia. One sec, I gotta go back upstairs. There was a miscommunication on when we're actually leaving our luggage here to check out, which is now. Actually, wait a second, before I leave, I've gotta know. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the vault. Okay, that was it. That was the vault. Good. Glad we came down for that. One, it wasn't bad. It was still good. It was just underwhelming. Two, I know there are other places. I'm sure that other, other places, elevator lady, please interrupt. Thank you. I'm sure there are other places that are the ones I was supposed to go to. But I didn't. I went to this one. I know it's a tourist thing. I know that it's no local eats at Geno's or whatever. Leave me alone. Oh, and when people say there, there was a miscommunication, they mean that someone messed up. It, it was me. I didn't know we were taking our bags downstairs right now. That's my bad. Looking good. All your favorite magic brands are in town for Magic Con. So all the breakfast is inside us now, and that's nice. And we were going to go to the Mutter Museum based on a series of recommendations, but as it turns out, they are by reservation tickets only, and they're booked out for the day. Which sucks, because we had time to do it too. But we'll just sort of we'll put a pin in that one for next time we're in Philly, I guess. And so instead, we're, we're walking to the Liberty Bell it's Philadelphia and that's what they have here a bell with a crack in it I mean I'm sure it's very important Wheeler estimates 1.8 million bricks yeah. Unless, I mean I don't know what how many columns are on the other side but if it matches up how about that uh, just for the top, not I, the I, I believe you. Okay. That's a mistake. Someone, someone else count it for us. Thank you. Goodbye. I'm going to level with you folks. The line to see this bell is enormous. Big line for bell. James, what do you think about this? Uh-huh. What if they introduced... Nicolas Cage's character, like straight, f like his actual character from the National Treasure movies yeah, yeah, yeah. into the Fast and Furious franchise. Oh, I have to like the Fast and the Furious franchise again. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I think, I think he'd, I think he'd slot in there clean. Oh, he absolutely would. Yeah. I, I legitimately thought you were going to be like, what if we took that character and put him into Magic the Gathering? And I was like, <laughs> I mean, I guess. Universes beyond. Yeah. yeah. Oh, we have to steal the Mirari. <laughs> That's where you do the into peen dance. Love a good peen dance. Oh. 
Who is this? Who is he pointing at? Oh, it's Barry. I was expecting a different name, but it turns out it's just Barry. Well, Barry... This, this is my guy. This is my guy, Barry. Yeah. Barry to his friends. Barack huh. to the oh. American people. Oh, sir. I didn't even know he was sick. <laughs> Bummer. Bummer. So he's pointing at the Penn Mutual Life Insurance Company. <laughs> okay. That's not what I thought he'd be pointing at either. It's Commodore John Barry. Commodore John Barry. That makes more sense. Yeah. Why is he pointing at an insurance company? Well, when you're here, it's mutual. <laughs> <laughs> well, his brother works over there after he got out of the cereal game. Commodore Franken. Oh. And Captain Crunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Always the other statue around here. <laughs> ben. Yes. Doric. Doric? Columns. Oh, Davis. Do <laughs> Love Doric Davis <laughs> in Billow. <laughs> the greatest sorcerer of all. On Disney Plus. <laughs> God, I hope that is Doric and not Tuscan. My dad will be so annoyed with me. Oh, from this angle, the face is not good. Who is this? Who is this poor? This who is this poor man trapped in carbonite? Tom Polietti. Let's see if it looks better from the front. It definitely does. Oh, okay. Sure, yeah. sure, sure. Yeah. All right. What about this side? Oh, it's worse. It's worse from over here. I think I figured out why I have such a love for the East Coast United States. It's because people aren't trying to talk with you or have a conversation with you. They're either talking at you or you've both focus on a central thing, go like, hey, that, yeah, all right, see you. It's great. Yeah. I like that this guy was like, is that Washington? Is that, is that Washington? And I was like, I don't know. He's like, that's what the other guy said, indicating one of you. And I was like, we're from Canada. And he's like, oh. Then I found out it was Washington. It was. He's like, that was Washington? Like, yeah. He's like, oh, dollar bill. The dollar bill. <laughs> It was Washington the whole time. We don't know where we're going now. We're just walking around. It's just, this is neat. Honestly, this is how I like to explore when I'm traveling. It's just go for a walk. There's so many brick houses and sidewalks. It's cool. Go Hertz. Go birds. Fly eagles. You know, I am sorry about your birds, Philadelphia. Hey, I got a question actually. Ben and I were at the Reading Public Market the other day, and there was one of those signs, you know, like it's a Philly thing. In Philly, we believe, you know, what, what, you know go birds, whatever, all that stuff. And then one of them was like, Santa deserved it. Does anyone know? Oh, yeah. Anyone know what the hell that's about? This fucking guy, he lives up north. <laughs> Don't get me started. This fat sack of crap, all red. On the backs of his employees. Works one day a year. Nobody else gets any of the credit except for him. Yeah, okay, all right. I believe it. Yeah. All right, Wheeler did the intelligent thing and looked it up. What, what did Santa deserve? Okay. So there's the Philadelphia Eagles Santa Claus incident. Uh, it was an American... <laughs> yeah, I think, I, you, done. I'm done. That's okay. all I need to... No, okay. What, what, the hell, what the hell was that? So, uh, in, the, in the 1968 season of the NFL... 68, okay. 68. You had the Vikings from Minnesota against the Eagles. Go, Birds. Uh, just kidding. But don't, please. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and in week 14, the struggling Eagles sitting at 2-11. and 11, uh, And they're tied at 7-7 seven and seven at halftime. <laughs> the team brought out Santa Claus as a part of the halftime Christmas parade. Uh -huh. And Eagles fans, upset by the poor season, pelted him with snowballs. <laughs> <laughs> when you're so mad at football that you... <laughs> you lash you out at Santa. Santa. Wow, all right. 
68 and they're still 60. they're still holding on to that? I you know what? You got to respect shit. it. You got to respect. Right. It. Oh, it was his fault. He deli- yeah. he yeah. delivered them a bad He's season. He's the reason they were 2 and 11. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean Santa deserved it, I guess. Pomeranians are such weird ass dogs, man. <laughs> this is like me and my furry child. What? <laughs> There's a lot to unpack here. I'm trying to, I mean, this is a lot like when you show me pictures, pictures of Baxter and I'm like trying to parse where the dog begins <laughs> and ends in this situation. <laughs> yup. Phyrexia. Yeah, you know what? I was thinking about that. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is very old school. It's great. <laughs> I was literally looking for her all weekend. Turns out she was just in the card store waiting for me. <laughs> now I don't have to steal from the office. All right, Wheeler, how many how many bricks are in that one? I, no, 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 no. I didn't see it kept going. No, <laughs> not happening. No, sorry. <laughs> this is a school, apparently, or some sort of academy. We don't know where we're going, and uh, it's working out pretty well so far. I don't know, I'm sure this is normal for you. To me, it looks like the cement mixer has been assembled wrong. Like half the Lego kit got turned around or we were saying it's like Wiley e. Coyote buys a cement mixer from Acme and then halfway through the plans get turned upside down and he's that's what he ends up with. Coffee time. Time for coffee. This place is great. We've just been walking around for like three hours. There's rules. We can go all the way through there. We should go through there. Nice. James was way ahead of me. I'm like a little baby. All right, brief aside, I don't get Barbara Jeeps. They're on every garbage bin in the city and the slogan is, is Barbara the best? Boy, I guess, which is what I would say if you asked me, is Barbara Jeeps the best Jeep place in Philadelphia? Because how many places only do Jeeps? Hey Graham, is Barbara the best? Uh, boy, I guess. No clue. Terrible slogan. Sorry, Philadelphia. He said repeatedly. This is super cool. Love this. <laughs> 